What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at the Pirates Cave uh, yard display. So they're doing a, a, a projection show. They're doing, they got lights, they got live actors. This is going to be a fun time. Uh, you guys remember we had Pirates Cave on the podcast um, a few weeks ago and they gave us an exclusive sneak preview of their event. It was awesome uh, and we are here finally for opening night uh, and we definitely are excited for this we really are there, there's just showing you the setup right here it looks beautiful uh, they did a really good job this year uh, of course 2020 being a hard year for doing stuff and they're still pulling something off I'm really excited to check this out uh, the ambiance looks dope and it is all amazing I love it I can't wait for you guys to see it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's see what they have to bring this year. During the dark days of pirates, there be one name that has been erased from history. His name was never to be spoke of again, and is only referred to as Calico Jack. In 1725, Calico vanquished numerous ships throughout the Caribbean, killing their crews, stealing their gold, and setting fire to their ships. His insatiable thirst for blood and gold was beyond measure. Tis fitting that his last victims, the poorest and most forgotten, would be his end. You see, one fightful day, Calico Jack came across a supply ship en route to a leper colony run by the Christian Church. The captain's ship overtook the defenseless vessel and attacked without mercy. When the smoke had cleared, the crew ransacked the ship, expecting spoil from their conquest. Instead, they found a single chest. The captain gazed inside, only to find a stack of Bibles and silver coins. He fell into a fit of rage and killed the remaining crew who only dedicated their lives to serving others. After seizing the new vessel, he then split up his crew between the two ships and sailed away under darkness. Now, if he said, that God took notice that day. Even before the sun rose the next day, the crew's skin became darkened with boils and disease. It became clear that the Almighty was upon them. The two ships endured days of violent storms. Even the most salty of sailors were shaken in their boots. The next day, the storm ceased, but God's wrath continued. The newly acquired ship was attacked by a great sea creature and dragged down to Divey Jones' locker. In desperation and fear for their lives, the crew of the remaining ship rose up in mutiny. They bound Calico Jack and locked him into the soil chest that was destined for the colony. But before they could rid themselves of their evil captain, suddenly sheer rock cliffs rose from the depths. Calico Jack's ship broke up on the rocks and was ravaged by fire. The entire crew of 185 souls were lost to the sea and fire and never to be seen again. Legend has it that once the chest containing Calico Jack's remains is opened, it will release him and his undead crew to the haunts of the living. Some mortals believe that deep in those sea cliffs lie the untold wealth of Calico Jack, and men still search for traces of his vast treasure today. Hey, Joe. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am home now. I mean, I was just so speechless of how good that turned out. That was probably by far one of the best things I've ever seen out of just about any haunt, to be honest with you. Um, that was such a good mixture of storytelling on a projection with live actors um, and, and the props and everything. Like a lot of the uh, Pirate's Cave you know, props that you see in the maze make an appearance, and I think it was just a phenomenal story told, the origins of how uh, this all came to be. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to Pirates Cave for uh, letting me come out and film this, and, um, you know, any way I can help those guys out, I am always happy to do so. They've been so... Um, you know, welcome with open arms every ever since last year, and I continue to follow these guys uh, and and help them any way I could, uh, and I hope our relationship goes for years to come because I love what I saw today, gentlemen. Thank you so much for putting on such a phenomenal show. Uh, words can't express how great this was. And thank you again for saving Halloween. But if you guys like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button, that like button. Um, and, of course, that bell notification be aware every time I put up a video. And go follow Pirates Cave on all their social media. And, yeah, I mean, gentlemen, kudos to you. Hats off to you. This was amazing. And I can't wait to see what it's like next year. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you guys next time.